everyone. How you feeling out there? I hope you have ukulele ready. What if I told you that practicing rhythms, especially practicing with a metronome, can make you into a groove machine? Sounds like something Morpheus would say. What if I told you practicing with a metronome make you a groove machine? Well, it's true. And I want you to release any things you might think about using a metronome. Today, we're gonna hang with a metronome and I'm gonna share with you some tips, some practice tips in this ukulele lesson that will help you to level up your groove. The rhythms that we're going to play will at first seem simple, but you're gonna see that there's a lot of nuance we can add to it once we get that foundation. So thanks for joining me. I hope you are doing well. Thanks for joining me for another live stream ukulele lesson. My name is Stu, this is Ukulele Zen. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, please uh, drop a comment in the chat below. See, Joe is with us right here. Yes, the weather has uh, held off um, right now. Hurricane Har uh, uh, Henry has not hit the, uh, the coast yet. I want to thank you all very much for joining me. Big thanks to Bob Fendrick for that super chat on YouTube. As you can see, I'm using some new software to live stream. I'm constantly always wanting to level up my game, and I hope that you'll grab your ukulele and join in with me for uh, leveling up our groove. After this lesson, we're going to have a brief mindfulness meditation as we do every time I have a live stream. Let me know how you're feeling, Karen. Hope things are going well down there in New York City. Wishing everybody well with the hurricanes, the fires, uh, the hot weather in Spain right now, Cassie is experiencing. Lance, thank you for joining. Thank you, Catherine, joining from Munich, Germany, to all my friends in all over Europe. I truly appreciate you watching. It's 12 noon, New York City time. And let's get started with today's lesson. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm pumped. I'm psyched to share another lesson with you. Now, as we move through uh, this lesson, I'm going to invite you to, you know, you can watch this replay as a replay anytime you like. You can watch this video lesson again and review some of the sections. We will be uh, playing through a song at the end of this. Uh, after we teach some rhythms, we're going to play a Chuck Berry song. It's a gospel chord, a chord progression that actually is three songs in one. You're going to see that, uh, that this uh, chord progression is actually three different songs in one. So let me know if it sounds good, if the picture is good. Appreciate you being here. Whether you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, please share this video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. So appreciate you being here. Real quick, just want to take 10 seconds to let you know that I'm going to be offering another live workshop on Sunday the 19th. I know I said the 12th last week. It's going to be Sunday the 19th. You can watch live and as a replay. And if, you, if you've attended any of my sessions before, you know they're a lot of fun, packed with a lot of value. You'll get a lot of bonuses, a replay video that you can watch anytime you like. I'll play a short concert for you. There'll be some jam tracks and a bonus lesson as well. I'll let you know when this goes on sale, most likely next week. Thank you. Please save the date, 919. All right, let's do this. To begin, let's first have some fun with the metronome and we have a guest uh, toddler who's going to show up later and show us uh, the joys of being in sync with the groove. If you don't yet get yourself a metronome, I mean I've had this one since I was in music school in the 90s. This this Korg TM40 great metronome. You can of course get them on your phones. This is a great one. I like this one tempo. Uh, so what we have is 100 beats a minute. First exercise, we're going to lock in. This is a slower tempo. We'll do this faster. And along the way, I'm going to share some practice tips with you, of course. So here we are. Let's first by first locking in with four on the floor. We're going to tap our foot on beat one, clap on two, tap our foot on three, and on four. Try to get your whole body involved with this. Ready? One, two. We're going to do this just for a minute. So get ready. Lock in. Here we go. 
And one, two, three, four. One, two, mm, mm, four. one. Take this as an opportunity to loosen up your body. Get yourself in the flow. You can, of course, stand up and do this. Three, four. This is that backbeat rhythm. One, two, mm, three, four. Thank you for joining me. Mm, one. We got 30 seconds. Come on. Lock in. Lock in. You can sing a little song. Oh, down, down. How sweet the sound. La da 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 Short bursts of concentration. Please understand, I'm talking about practicing. When I go to jam and I play, I just jam and I let it flow. When we're practicing, we want to build a skill. It's a really good idea to just work with one idea at a time and lock in for short bursts. How did that feel? Let me know in the chat if you feel coordinated, hand, foot, hand, foot. And if it feels a little stumbly, that's cool. That's totally cool. The process is making friends with this rhythm, getting coordinated, and getting in the groove. We're going to do this again a little bit faster now, and we're going to, in a moment, we're going to add some eighth notes and strum with the ukulele. Rudolph's here from Chicago. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Bonnie. Appreciate that good, uh, those good vibes. All right, South Londonderry in the house. Thank you very much. I'm down here in the uh, deep south of Vermont. Are you ready to exercise again? Let's do this. Remember, it's very helpful, even though you're looking at a screen right now, to look at your body, be in the body. Rhythm is learned in the body. Let's do this another moment, and then we're going to add eighth notes and apply this to a Chuck Berry song, which we'll be able to follow along with very easily right here. Thanks for joining me. If you're digging this so far, please give this video a like, thumbs up, et cetera, et cetera. Are you ready? This is 120 beats a minute. Let's listen to it first. There we go. Bit peppier. You ready to work it out? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Feel it. Mm, 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 mm. I recommend that you not only look at the body, breathe deeply, sing a little song, you know, anything you want. Mm. You can't always get what you want. Mm. Mm. You can't always get what you want. No, no. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find. You get what you need. Yeah, yeah. Sing any song you like. You got 30 seconds. Come on, folks. Lock in. You can also use two fingers. Mm, mm, uh, mm, mm. Start to scat with your voice. Improvise a little bit. Get free. Locking in with the beat. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Mm. One, two, a uh, one, two, and boom. Yeah, come on, give it up, everybody. Do this. Give yourself a hand. Pat on the back. You're locking in. This is fundamental. Now, I'm sharing this uh, perspective with you because I've been a touring musician for over 25 years. I've taught in universities. I've taught corporate executives drumming, had a drum as a team building experience. I've led music circles in hospitals and cancer wards. And I found that everywhere I go, when people lock in, it creates community. You create community, all your cells start to wake up. When you think about it, your heart always in a rhythm that's responding to the environment that you're in. 
Everything is about rhythm. So by spending even just one minute solidly locking in, you are doing so much more than just training your rhythmic sensibility. You're giving your body and your consciousness a wonderful sonic massage. Okay. Can I take 30 seconds and share a, a video with you to share uh, the effects, what the joy that can happen when you're in the groove, okay? This is my 18-month-old. We gave him um, a tambourine to play with. This is his first moments with the tambourine. Notice at the end, this is just 30 seconds, so please indulge me. I know you're here for a lesson. <laughs> Notice what happens at the end, just how blissed out he gets. This is why rhythm is such good medicine. Check it out. Here's Rowan. And that's what it feels like. Yeah. So let's lock in with some more rhythms. And we're going to talk about some techniques of how you can make your journey into being more grooving, strumming like a boss, easier. I see there's some comments coming in. Thank you, Pirate Jenny. You'll get to meet Rowan someday, hopefully at a ukulele zen retreat someday. So check it out. We've been establishing ourselves in backbeat rhythm. One, two, three, four. Now, let's add eighth notes to different combinations. First, we'll add eighth notes on beat two. Then we'll add eighth notes on beat four. Then we'll add eighth notes on beat two and four and. Even if you've been strumming all your life, it's a good idea to practice this and to practice locking in. There's always more that can be revealed when you have the solid foundation in um, locking in. Tempo is steady. And then you're able to take that tempo and divide it up into smaller bits. This is where you really get the groove. So let's begin first without metronome. Let's just make friends with this rhythm. And you can use a number of different techniques to strum. If you're brand new to ukulele, I recommend you, you know, just hold the thumb against the first finger and make the hand feel real loose. The tip of the finger is very light. And let's use a C major chord, just a chord everybody knows. That's open, open, open three. And what we're going to do is we're going to count out loud. Good idea to look after you memorize this. Look at your hand. So check it out. I'm going to go one, two, three. Very slow. We're going to pick it up in a moment. Lock in with me for 20 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and a couple more times. On to the other rhythms. Notice how much nuance you can bring out. We can strum every string on every beat if you like. One, two, three, four, four, right? And we can break up the strings. Meaning, on beat one and three, maybe you just bounce off the bottom strings. I'm playing a low G, works fine on any tuning. One, two, three. So I'm bouncing off on one, one, two, and all the strings, three, I'm bouncing off, four, and. You can accomplish this in another way by using your thumb. This is something I talked about in some recent videos. You can scroll back at my YouTube channel. You'll see several videos about thumb strum. So this is a very cool thing to do. You just bounce the thumb off one string, two and three four and the whole time i'm going very slow treating this almost like tai chi 
you know, very slow, fluid motion. Your wrist is soft, so you stay in control. So you have quite a bit of options in this one rhythm. Let's move on to the next one, and then we're going to pick up the tempo. And you can hear how this is all going to line up nicely when we play the tune. This rhythm is one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and namaste, Trey. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Nan. I appreciate that. Now you ready? One, two, three, four, and 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 one, two. Now you can do this in other ways. Of course, you can strum every string. It's a nice effect when we break up the strings, right? Because we have a thinner texture on beat one and three, and then we really give all the strings a good strong accent on beats two and four. That helps to bring out the rhythm. You know, when you're playing faster. You can hear how the rhythm now has some dimension to it, okay? This is some, while it seems simple, it actually takes some training, right? Takes some training. How you feeling out there, folks? So glad you're, you're joining me. Appreciate all the sweet folks out here. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, give this video a thumbs up, share it on Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I just reached 80,000 subscribers on YouTube you can help me reach 100,000, maybe, who knows, by the end of this year, maybe in six months. Appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and keep in the loop of all the content I create. Many thanks to all the patrons. I'll let you know more about what that is in a moment. Right now, one more rhythm, and then we're just going to jam. So many types of styles can be played with backbeat. It's great for, of course, pop music and rock and roll and blues and jazz. You can also do some great island strumming with this rhythm it's a great reggae and ska groove backbeat is one of those master key rhythms remember we started with the foot this is a good fundamental skill to first develop all right nicholas is playing the seam in his jeans in the car i know what you're talking about he used to jam on my corduroy pants all the time he used to drive my friends nuts i would always be practicing my finger patterns on my pants or my shirt. Oh, this has got some quarter. Good on you, Nicholas, finding a way to practice and jam anywhere you are. Thanks so much. All right, my friends, last one. Then we're going to do these a little faster. Take some questions, of course, in the chat. Whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube, I'll be able to answer your questions. So let's do this. This next one, one, remember the accents on two, and three, four, and. When we write them out, you know, it's kind of, it's intellectual. It's important to understand with the mind what's going on, but get into the groove, get into the body, get into the feel of it, okay? So satisfy the curiosity of the mind, jot these down on a piece of paper, memorize them, count them, say them, but then play them with your body, all right? Let's try this out. Remember, it takes time, so be very patient with yourself. Let's do this, uh, how about we do this on a G7 chord. We'll play G7. And we'll do a little two chord jam. G7. And then we're going to switch to C7. Okay. We'll do G7 and C7. Watch me get it going. And then um, you'll be able to lock it. One, two, one, two, and three, four, and one. Each. Get ready, G7. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's lock in for another 45 seconds. Just lock in. Couple more times. If you're
you're feeling solid, start to dance with it. everybody hats off to you watch this video again lock in with this and you can of course practice these with different tempos the tempo i was using and one of the things that's great about a metronome with a tap feature is that when you tap on the tap button one two three four one two, it calculates how fast you were playing so i was tapping i started that little two chord jam at 142 beats a minute so you tap it out and then the metronome will keep the steady tempo for you. Boom, check up, boom, check up, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're still playing at kind of a slower tempo, which is very, very good. Very, very good to develop steadiness in your tempo so you can have something to build with, all right? It's a good idea to begin to uh, explore tapping your foot, getting your, getting your body involved. Again, just like Morpheus said in the Matrix. Okay, it's, actually, it's true, it really is. I mean, you know, everybody loves when people tap their feet, right? <laughs> so getting in the groove with your whole body, so important. The metronome app is called Tempo. It's the very thing that it keeps. Tempo. Tempo means the steady rhythm, the, the backbeat pulse of the music. Eric, thanks for that super chat. I appreciate your support very much. Thank you so much, everybody. Now, I want to get right into playing a tune and just keep this lesson bumping along. Let me know in the chat if you have any questions, and I will do my best to answer them. I'd love to play now a bit of a, of a tune with you. The song 30 Days by Chuck Berry is also the same chord progression as the Saints Go Marching In. It's essentially the same chord progression. It's also the same chord progression as um, I'll Be Glad When You're Dead, You Rascal You. This is a New Orleans kind of stock chord progression that can be reharmonized and things can be added. And if you're just joining me now, know, please know that you can watch this video again. And I have lots of content at my YouTube channel. Right, which is called Ukulele Zen. Please subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Hope you and your family's doing well out there. When you're playing this, I know it's a little small. Um, you can follow along with the box notation. Every one of those boxes is four beats. And when you see a percentage sign, that means that you're repeating the previous bar. So we actually have six bars of C of four four times and then you play g for two bars then you get to the second line and you're going to play c for a bar c7 for a bar f for two bars c g and c now if it seems like i'm going fast that's just because i'm talking about it we're going to exercise it right now nice and easy nice and slow and then we're going to apply some of these rhythms okay you can strum any rhythm you like see about keeping the song form with me. Here we go. So I'm going to use rhythm, the third rhythm we played, which is one, two, three, four. Okay. And we'll do it slowly. One, two, three. So I tapped out a metronome rhythm. It's 110 beats a minute. It's important to play with a metronome so you don't speed up, you don't slow down. One, two, play with me. C. One, Two, three, bar four, bar five, bar six, change to G. Coming up on the second line, C, C seven, F, F, C. the beginning. Go, C, see a bouncing ball. Bar two, 
bouncing four times each box. Box four, box five, box six, box seven, box eight. Next line, come on, C, D7. Box C, G. Beginning, here we go. And when you did, you rascal, you. I'll be glad when you're gone, you dirty old dog. I opened up my house. I took you in, you went inside and you drank all my gin, I'll be glad when you dead, you rascal, you. All right, as a quick example of how this chord progression is used in a lot of different New Orleans style. So what we're doing is we're using uh, one of the basic fundamental rhythms that I was sharing here. On top of this, you can begin to add a lot of different nuances. Thank you very much. One quality note offering some super chat. If that, sh that looks a lot like my friend Sharon. Is that Sharon? No. One quality note. I love that. One quality note at a time. That's what we do. So, my friends, you want to play this a little faster? You don't feel like you have to be locked into one of these rhythms. This is an important point, and this is one of the last points I'm going to make during the lesson before we move on into a brief meditation, is that these rhythms are so fundamental. They are literally the foundation that you build on top of. So while it's a good idea to practice and lock in and maybe just train yourself to just play exactly the rhythm as written, you can add and develop it in a lot of different ways. Here's here's a way you can do it. Check it out. If I was going to use this one, same tempo. One. I'll do it a little slower to demo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And see, I put a little different. down and four and okay an extra eighth note right here just feel it at first and i know that may sound very vague for those of you who are new to music but it really is an important part of strumming is to feel it okay you're drumming on strings so just let go and feel it i hope that you find this lesson helpful let's jam this song okay you can you can have a lot of fun playing this faster. And if you haven't heard Chuck Berry's version, I think it was recorded in the late 50s, but you can find him on YouTube performing this in more recent years. It really is a foot-stomping, hand-clapping gospel kind of groove that he often performs with it. So thanks for joining me, my friend. Hey, it is Michelle. Thank, um, excuse me, Sharon. <laughs> thanks so much. Glad to have some MFP in the house. We're going to have a mindfulness meditation beginning in about five minutes. Can you hear the rain starting? Oh, my goodness. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for um, all the good vibes from my son, uh, Rowan, playing the tambourine. And I hope you find these lessons helpful. Keep in mind, I'm going to be offering another online workshop with perks. All the details will be announced very soon, but save the date, Sunday, 9-19. As I have mentioned before, the workshop includes a replay video jam tracks, uh, a bonus lesson just for you, and I'll be playing a short concert for you, not only on ukulele, but on my other instruments as well. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sharon. And uh, one last thing before we go. I'm going to put this in the chat. Visit musicforpeople.org because that's an amazing organization musicforpeople.org. Bookmark that page and visit it soon because it is uh, 
a really an amazing community of people dedicated to music improvisation and learning music in the similar manner that I teach. I studied with music for people for years, that music is more than um, doing it right. It's a way of expressing yourself. And in that expression and acceptance of what is coming out, you know, there's a very, uh, there's a very healing nature to what music for people offers. So let's get into this. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, April, for that super sticker. Notice, huh? Tempo's kind of up there. I'm not going to put the metronome on so you can just hear me strum, follow along, sing along if you know the words, or just hum. One, two, three. I'm going to give you 30 days to get back home. I done called the gypsy woman on the telephone. Worldwide hoodoo, that'll be the very, very thing that'll suit you. We're gonna be, be, be back home in 30 days. Here's the chorus 30 days, you say 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. We're gonna see that you be back home in 30 days. We're gonna put out a worldwide hoodoo, that'll be the very, very thing that'll suit you. I'm gonna see that you be back home. Check in. Are you breathing deep? Every once in a while, just take a deep breath. Make sure you're still in your body, relaxing it. We're going to sing verse number two, and I'm going to start to add some other chords and some other rhythms. You hold down the foundation, and let's jam. I done talked to the judge in private early this morning, and put out an arrest and a signed warrant. Cross charges against you. That'll be the very, very thing that'll send you. We're gonna see that you be back home in 30 days. Come on, 30 days, 30 days, 30 days. See that you be back home in 30 days. We're gonna pull cross charges against you. That'll be the very, very thing that'll send you. I want to see that you be back home in 30 days. One more verse to go. Are you ready? One, two, I want to. If I don't get no satisfaction from the judge, I want to take it to the FBI and push my grind. I want to walk across the ghetto. I don't know. Take it to the United Nations. I'm gonna see that you be back home in 30 days. 30 days. 30 days. I'm gonna see that you be back home in 30 days. If I don't get no consolation, I'm gonna take it to the United Nations. I'm gonna see that you be back home in 30 days. Take it down. I'm gonna see that you be back home in 30 days. Slow it down. Gonna see that you be back home. Play an F chord in 30 days. All right, everybody. Spontaneous Jamboree. Thanks for joining in. If we were in the same room, we'd all be high-fiving one another. Give yourself a pat on the back for joining in. Long distance jamming. Appreciate you joining in. Do you want to see real quick some of the other things I was doing? Watch this video again and please use this. This kind of thing I'm sharing right now is like the bonus content I offer every month on my Patreon page. Thank you very much. If you don't know what Patreon is, check the links down below and you can join the community there for just two bucks a month. Gets you um, a base level membership, all kinds of perks for your membership, including bonus things like this. Real quick now, when you move from C to C7, just fill in the space by putting your middle finger there in a B, and you get this descending melody. Mm -hmm. And then when I go to F, 
very common reharmonization is to place a diminished seventh chord with the same root as the root note. So that diminished seventh chord is looks like a G major chord that's been hopped up to these strings. Then you plop the pinky on the third fret. And that's C diminished seventh chord. Thank you, John, for that super chat. I so appreciate everybody being here. Uh, April, I will make the uh, I will add the uh, song sheet to the post. Okay, that that pointed you towards this live cast. Yes, all patrons. I'll do that as soon as we're done. So let's let's practice this together. Okay, this is tricky at first. Do 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 da 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 da. da. You've heard that song, before, uh, that sound before. The diminished seventh chord, the <laughs> ram full uh, explanation of that is something we'll have to do another day. But every one of these notes is a potential root note. The way I like to remember this is that it's moving from the four chord F, and then the root note is moving up one fret to F sharp. Another way to think about it is that's got the same root as the chord you're going to. You're going to C next. One last little rehar. Oh, you want to practice that? C, C7, F diminished. Let's do it. One, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, C. C7, F diminished. Common chord progression you hear in a lot of blues, jazz, gospel, roots music. All right. Blue Sky is in the house. Thank you so much for that super chat. You know who else is in the house? Our tree picks. Adam from Calgary. He made this for me for my birthday. What a sweetie. Go visit tree picks. And there are winners of this week's giveaway. Um, I will uh, get those names and pictures out next time we meet. Thanks, Adam, for being such a pal. Uh, do check out treepicks.com. Such cool uh, gear they have there. These picks, as I've said before, sound just wonderful on nylon string. You know, they really. Are. I received no money for that plug, too. I'm just doing it one brother helping another brother out. Adam is so kind to give away tree picks every week. So if you'd like to win, check the link down below, enter your name, and you'll be chosen at random to win. All right, Pirate Jenny loves her tree picks. Awesome. Glad to hear from everybody. We're going to land the plane now. I know this is a lot of info, and for me to try to fit it into about 45 minutes means that I'm running from one topic to another. If you do choose to watch this again, I recommend that you pause the video, and just hang with one thing at a time. Dig one deep well, you'll collect more rain. Perfect analogy for today as it's just started to rain outside. So maybe you just want to make friends with this. Do that for five minutes. This little thing here has a, my favorite feature is the timer. I just put on five minutes and I'll work on one thing for five minutes. At the end of that five minutes, you know that you've really made some progress in one area. It's very easy to jump from one thing to another. Our practice becomes like kind of like channel surfing. The way to progress in music, in my experience, is to take one thing, go deep in it. Let me know in the chat if you can relate. So, are you ready? Let's place our ukuleles down for a moment. Appreciate you joining me for this lesson. Save the date. 9-19 is going to be a really good workshop. What we're going to be learning, we're going to be using the vehicle of Caribbean Calypso music. That will be the vehicle to learn about syncopated strums, left-hand muting techniques, new chord inversions, and melodies. I'll be letting you know all about it, and tickets will go on sale soon. Thank you. Ukulele Scramble's in the house. Oh, my gosh. Check out the Ukulele Scramble on YouTube. Very, very, very um, talented two artists, and their arrangements are so, uh, so creative. I really dig 
dig the ukulele scramble check them out give their videos a thumbs up subscribe to their channel so my friends would you like to see a toddler shake a tambourine before we meditate Thirty seconds. Thank you, everybody. I hope you and your families are well. I'd like to share another brief mindfulness meditation. I want to make two things clear before we begin. I've said things like this before. What I'm sharing is not a, a religious uh, perspective. These uh, Buddhist meditations are meant uh, to be practices that can help settle the mind, open the heart, and develop a witnessing presence that is uh, agreeable with any faith. In fact, my teacher, Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, uh, has a whole book about the teachings of Jesus and how brilliant they are and how much mindfulness teaching is in the Bible. So I just want to make that clear, that this is not one practice, one religion. This is an exercise. And with mindfulness and meditation, I'm going to do my best, especially if you're new to the practice. I'm going to hopefully save you a lot of uh, difficulty by saying that the object is not to still the mind. The mind does not stop. It will stop someday after our heart stops, after our kidneys stop, after our liver stops. But the mind doesn't stop. What happens by watching it with mindfulness, meaning mindfulness is being aware of what's going on, is we get perspective. Being in a traffic jam can be a very stressful experience if you're running late, just being in it, it's uncomfortable. But watching that same traffic jam from an airplane is not the same experience. And that's what mindfulness offers us, is a, an ability to develop the witnessing presence. So I wanted to invite you to practice. Let's begin by placing our feet on the floor, sitting upright and the, in your chair. If you're sitting on a cushion or laying down, many ways to practice. I'm going to ring this bell and invite you to listen to it as it goes all the way into silence. See if you can follow with your attention the sound of this bell. Thank you for joining me. And so we can end cleanly afterwards. I'll just say thank you. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Save the date. Check the links down below. I wish you and your families good health, much happiness. Thank you for joining me. Begin by closing your eyes and taking a few deep breaths just to relieve and release any tension that there may be. Just breathing and listening. Taking this moment to pause. Even in the midst of everything that is in your life, all the things going on in the world, 
take this moment to pause and come home to the present moment. Take a few more deep breaths. And as you take these breaths, begin to soften the muscles of your face, your shoulders and your jaw, and feel a wave of relaxation, offering this pause as a wonderful gift to yourself and to those around you. Allow any sounds that may be present in your room and around your home to simply be there as you listen, soften, come home. You have this time. Allow your attention to rest on your breathing and for now, release any effort with the breathing and simply watch it. Notice how the world is breathing through you. Soften your effort in your belly and allow the diaphragm to inhale and exhale on its own. Continue to abide calmly in your breathing as we listen. And in this moment, if there are any body sensations, any thoughts that distract your attention from your breath, simply watch them and return to your breathing. Notice how all phenomena, just like our breath, rises and falls. Inhaling and exhaling. Allow the waves of your mind to simply be there, watching them from your center. With a soft effort, see if you can remain connected to your breathing for the entire inhalation and the entire exhalation and even any pause, any space that's in between them. Rooted in your breathing, watching the stream of life flow as if you are on the banks of a river admiring the beautiful water.
You can play a little game with yourself. Anytime you want to come home, pause and watch three or five breaths, inhaling, exhaling, in, out. While this practice is deep, it's not meant to be serious. Offer yourself a smile. Notice how pleasant and how pleasing it is to simply be with your breath, generating joy simply by noticing the miracle that you are already alive. Abide with your breath in for one breath out. A second breath. A third. And when you're ready, open your eyes, remain connected to the rising and falling of your breath. Thank you. So many ways to practice. I encourage you to personalize this, to share just personally. I find myself in times of strain, of stress, or in times of great joy and wonder. And I pause and I'll take five breaths. My hand is almost like a rosary. You could play a game going all the way to 10 breaths using 10 fingers. Remember, it's a game. And if you find yourself distracted, the moment you know, you're back. So the attitude that same as practicing music, it's not, I forgot, it's, hey, I remembered. I wish you all a very happy day. Thank you for joining me for another ukulele lesson. As you can tell, I, I like to teach more than where to put your fingers. So glad that you decided to join me today. Hope to see you again on another live stream lesson. Oh, and by the way, if you're still here, those strings on your instrument, each one of them is a wonderful bell. Play a note, listen to it like a singing bowl. You can do that for three or five notes and then start playing a song. Notice how different the experience of playing music will be. Thank you for being here. I appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Be healthy. Wish you much happiness. Thanks again. Till next time.